Uh, hi, my name is uh, David Dylan Thomas, and I'm here to share with you a approach for uh, getting people together and coming up with ideas collaboratively. And it's this method called uh, Eight Up. Um, and uh, basically, the way it works is you start with some kind of question, some kind of problem you're trying to solve. Let's say it's about uh, transportation, and it's like, how do we do a better job of moving people around, right? And so you get eight people in a room and you say each one of them has uh, three minutes to come up with three ideas each, right? So you start the clock, they write down their ideas and you say, okay, great. Um, each of you turn to your neighbor and show them your three ideas and they're gonna show you their three ideas and you have uh, six minutes to make that happen. And what I want you to do is show each other your ideas and whittle those six ideas down to just two ideas, right? So between the two of you, uh, when time is up, you're each going to have uh, two ideas, right? Take those six ideas, whittle them down to two, and you can come up with brand new ideas. You can choose your best two from the six, but at the end of the day, you're just going to have two ideas between the pair of you. Then you say, okay, great, everybody, you've got your ideas. Uh, pair number one, turn to pair number two, show them your ideas. Uh, pair number two, you're going to have to go to pair number one and show them their ideas, and then take those uh, four ideas, right, and whittle them down again to two, right? Uh, and again, however you need to do it, get uh, those four ideas down to just two ideas, right? So now what you're going to have in the room is four people, uh, two, two, two pairs of four with two ideas each. And guess what's going to happen now? You're all going to get together, right? And you're going to take those four ideas and you're going to whittle them down to just one idea, right? Now, uh, the advantage of this approach is, and that's been studied scientifically, is that if I just get eight people in a room, and I say, okay, eight people, um, uh, we're, each of you write down an idea, we're gonna vote on the best idea. You get kind of a mediocre idea. Or if I say, hey, okay, um, uh, each of you, I'm gonna lock you in a room, uh, eight people, and um, uh, you don't get out until you uh, agree an idea. Again, you pretty much get a mediocre idea. But if you, over time, progressively add people's ideas together, right? And mix them together, you end up with a great idea, right? And some of the advantages here are that you kind of mute the loud talkers. Um, a lot of times when you do this sort of brainstorming, there's gonna be like one person in the room who kind of dominates the conversation. Maybe they're, most, they're the most powerful person in the room, whatever, but um, it can kind of, kind of be hard for other people's ideas to get in. Well, here, if uh, that person is playing by the rules, in round one, they don't talk to anybody. In round two, they only really get to talk to one other person. And theoretically, at least they're listening for at least half the time. And by the time they get a chance to dominate the conversation at the end, everybody else's uh, DNA is already in that final idea. The other nice thing about this is um, if you're getting all that input and everyone's DNA in one form or another has made it into the final idea, um, that idea will get a lot more buy-in right? Because everyone can kind of see a piece of themselves in it, right? So that's a huge advantage. Um, and I will say this approach benefits from what I call both horizontal and vertical diversity. So uh, vertical diversity might be, hey, I want the CEO in the room, but I also want the person where it's their first day on the job, right? Uh, horizontal diversity, we might be talking about uh, different departments. So marketing should be there, uh, IT should be there, design, like all the different legal, all the different pieces of the of the puzzle should be in the room. And the more diverse that group is, the better the idea is because you're getting input from a lot of different ground truths, a lot of different lived experiences. So that idea becomes more resilient because it's already been kind of tested and forged by this process. Um, and I will say this is literally a million dollar approach. So a while back, Netflix had a con contest to try to improve their uh, algorithm. And if you could improve it by, I think it's something like 10%, you would get like a million dollars, right? It was called, I think, the Netflix prize. So the winning team uh, was actually two different teams who saw they each had a piece of the puzzle and then combined their ideas and won. The second place team was also two different teams that combined their uh, ideas uh, and came up with their the, the second place uh, winner. So anyway, this is a really literally million dollar approach to uh, coming up with ideas. I encourage you to try it out. Uh, it's called 8UP. Uh, my name is David Dylan Thomas. Just a note, uh, this is our season finale, so to speak. So we're going to take a little break. Uh, and come back later with more uh, content. Uh, but for now, uh, know that you can uh, reach out to me for talks or workshops at uh, daviddillonthomas.com. I got my book, Design for Cognitive Bias. And um, feel free to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.